We told you yesterday, yesterday about Elsie Wigington, a woman who's been missing in Amherst for almost a year. 10 News reporter Abby Coleman is continuing to work for you, pushing for answers. The search for Elsie Wigington is heating up as we near a year since she disappeared, and I'm pushing officials for any insight they can give me regarding her case. Elsie's family is trying to stay hopeful she'll turn up, but also tell me they're preparing for the worst. Just knowing where she's at so that we can give her a burial. And As I reported Wednesday, Elsie's foster sister Tracy Coleman claims the Amherst County Sheriff's Office dropped the ball when they reported her missing in June of last year. The Sheriff's Department at that time did not follow up and did not do their due diligence. Now under new leadership, Sheriff Jimmy Ayers says they're concerned in working with the family, but I wanted more information. I called the sheriff several times with no answer and emailed him asking for copies of all missing persons reports filed for Elsie, but haven't heard back yet. Tracy tells me there's a more active investigation happening now. They have a list of people they're looking to talk to. Tracy tells me about a history of abuse between Elsie and her husband, leading her to fear for her life. And she said, um, he's going to kill me. So I decided to track down her husband to get his side of the story. I found his Facebook page and messaged him with no response. And when I called the number Elsie's daughter Sativa gave me, this is what happened. Your call cannot be completed as the call party declines the request. The next step was heading to the courthouse. I spent several hours combing through documents, looking at anything I could find on Elsie, her case, or her husband, but came up empty handed. As of right now, her husband does not appear to have any charges against him. Tracy says legislation needs to change when it comes to the policy behind missing persons reports. In this day and age when we put, you know, men in space and, and we have nanobots and we can't find a human on Earth. I'm continuing to check court records and keep in touch with the Sheriff's Department and Elsie's family as the investigation continues. In Amherst, Abby Coleman, 10 News, working for you.